situation because, of course, there should be drunk people stumbling over each other, and just to maintain her image of what an English pub looked like, you know? Because <laughs> actually, usually, there's not, they're not actually falling over each other, at least not until midnight or so, but, and this was only, like, you know, seven. Uh, but, you know, that, that was kind of poetic, I suppose. In 48, they were driven out at the point of a machine gun. Families fled in fear to Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. They fled around the globe, firmly held in terror strip, and about a million refugees ended up in the Gaza Strip. In 1967, the IDF moved in, and the refugees in Gaza became refugees again. Settlers took their farmland, soldiers took the ports, and the people were surrounded by military forts in 2007. They cut them off completely. No access to the borders, no access to the sea. The world began to see this unavoidable stamp. The most crowded place on earth was now a concentration camp. Israeli jet fighters bombed Gaza from the air, and they kept out the supplies needed to rebuild and repair. They kept out the convoys of humanitarian aid, anemic children going hungry, crushed and burned in bombing fields from around the world. Good people tried to get across the border to the other side. Almost all of them were turned away, deported back to Turkey, Jordan, France, the USA. They were barred from ever coming back. Adam and Huayda decided on a different tack. They loaded up a boat, managed to get through. That's when activists in Istanbul decided what to do, armed with food and wheelchairs and prosthetic limbs for victims of the bombing raids to wear. They packed cement by the ton. They had a few kitchen knives, but not a single gun. They were determined to reach the bay, to break the siege of Gaza and not be turned away. As they left Turkish waters, everybody wished them well. As for what would happen next, only the apartheid state could They were 60 miles from the shore, out in the open sea, in international waters, with no plans for turning back. That's when Netanyahu told his soldiers to attack. They came down from helicopters, fired guns from Zodiacs. They shot some people in their heads and others in their backs. The captain raised a white flag high into the air, but the soldiers kept on shooting beneath the floodlights there. The soldiers kept on shooting. It was a free fire zone. So many dead and wounded. Just how many is it known? So many dead and wounded. Blood flowing on the floor. The soldiers kept on shooting 60 miles from the shore. Medics tried to treat the wounded. All they could do was watch them bleed. The soldiers wouldn't let them get the urgent help they needed. Mass troopers held their hostages. The Navy told the ship just for trying to sail. Kingdom are with nothing but a 
Yes. <laughs>